Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. Hello, welcome to the Redman TV with the breaking news is that the FA have handed down a 10 game ban to Liverpool's Luis Suarez following his nibbling incident with Branislav Ivanovic. Um, clearly this is the big news story uh, at the moment. There seems to be a sort of a split between uh, absolute sort of um, sort of outrage and then you know vociferous praise, and that's mainly people who live in Liverpool or and or are rational, and then like the Southern press. Um, <laughs> no, um, there's definitely a split. But let's have a look at some Liverpool fan comments and see what you make of the of the news. Adam Bow says, "I think Suarez needs to understand he is a marked." Man, with priors for biting and the and the shake to King's Devra, it was always going to be harsh. Yeah, a, a very interesting point there because we sort of we constantly make these points about the FA. So when they when they hand down things like this, why why are we surprised when they do it? That's a, yeah, that's a question for another day, perhaps. Anyway, Oscar Salemba says absolute joke. The foe got nothing for doing the same thing to Mascarano. It uh, would have taken three or four games and a fine. FA equals Fergie Association. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, Shane Jeffries says, wow, ten games. In other words, get out of England. That does seem very much the thing. I mean, again, maybe it does, isn't it? And uh, is it a persecution complex? I'm sure certain, certain quarters will definitely say that about us. Um, but you do get the impression that people just don't want, you know, the FA in particular just don't want Luis Suarez playing football in England. And, and you know, uh, the best thing we've got going for us, and he's got going for us, I should really say that, is that most professionals and most sort of people who, who, who maybe, maybe neutrals as well think the Premier League is a far better competition for having players like Luis Suarez in it. So if, if that's the case and the FA are doing that, I, I don't know, you know what I mean? That is wild speculation. Um, you know, the Premier League will be a far shitter league for not having a player like Luis in it. Anyway, um, Hashim Liverpool Eunice is simply bollocks to the FA. <laughs> um, Matthew Little says that he's going to piss in David Gill's iron so that if my irons is clothed, it will be steaming in his piss. You can't. No. Um, Sean Brown says, there you have it, folks. Biting is worse than racism. Liam Harrop says leg break three games. Headbutting, three games. Racist abuse, four or eight games. Knocking someone out, eight games. Biting, ten games. Bravo, FA. Bravo. And that deserves sort of like a... I think as well. There you go. Anyway, Tom Horton says... Uh, and uh, Actually, uh, quite a, a sort of flip point here. And I, I'm going to give this... I think this is the best comment on it so far, though. Does seem steep, I agree, but the solution is quite simple. Don't fucking bite someone, <laughs> then you won't get banned at all. I, I actually think that's the best point to take from all of this. As mentioned, you know, I don't know what we what we expect from the FA at this point, and I, I, I often wonder whether it is a case, whether it is, and as I say, a persecution complex, whether we're maybe seeing things that aren't quite there. Maybe it feels like they're all against us. But it does feel like it's the case does at times, and I think that the Liverpool Football Club have basically said that they're going to wait it out uh, till tomorrow, um, Thursday, to get the full ruling and find out where it is, what it is to come up. Hello, 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 Java updates, my old friend. Um, to find out exactly what's happened before they make a full statement. And basically, I mean, if it, it, what I remember from this one is the last Suarez pan. Um, was the ad that oh, it, it always felt like they, 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 they delayed releasing this report so that they could sort of find out what all the criticism, potential criticisms of it were going to be, then quickly add in responses to all of them and then chuck it out so they, they'd almost answered all of its potential criticisms before it even was made public. Um, we'll, we'll see whether that happens tomorrow, but the, the general consensus seems to be that what they're going to suggest is it's a three match ban. It's violent conduct, he's admitted that that's a three game ban. It's seven games on top and they'll probably take into account as priors whether it's, um, I presume that would be involved in the incident with, with Bacal when he was playing for Ajax. I would be shocked if it was involved, if it had back to the incident involving Evra. Because that does seem a little bit like the sort of stacking up evidence. But I don't know, maybe, maybe, that, maybe that's the case, I don't know, I'm no, I'm no legal expert. Um, 
But uh, come back, as I say, it was Tom's point there, you know, it, look, if he doesn't bite someone, then we're not in this position. So a certain degree of blame still has to fall squarely on Luis Suarez's shoulders. I'm glad that he's apologised, that apparently Ivanovic is accepted, but I don't know. And then there's been counter stories saying the other way. So, no, I don't really know what the truth is on that, but you can apologise, and you should, you should, when you apologise for something, the idea is you meant to sort of be forgiven for it, aren't you? But, um, but then again, if someone points out, if you bit someone in work, you'd lose your job and there'd be some severe repercussions off the back of it. So uh, it's an unusual case. And I, you know, I was on, me and Chris and I were on um, on Ball Street's uh, show with, with uh, presented by Ian Wright, and we were talking about Suarez. Just definitely check that out on their channel. We've done a little bit with uh, Ian Wright as well. It's definitely worth checking out his thoughts on Suarez and the, and the anger management side. But do let me know your thoughts on the ban. Do you think it's extreme? Do you think uh, do you think there's justification for it? Is it good? Hey, welcome back. Um, do you think it's a good thing that um, the FA is setting an example for him, you know, so that you know, so the kids don't think it's acceptable to go around gnawing on the arms of Serbians? Um, or, as I say, is, is it just do you think it's utterly ludicrous and is you know, or are you, are you a mad conspiracy nut and you think it's the FA and out to out to get us? Like, um, let us know in the comments section of the or tweet us at the Red Men TV as well. Um, for me, it just, I mean, look, for my own personal take on it, it just seems a little, a little too much. You know, I, it, it seems arbitrary, it seems like they've just gone, ah, well, you know, seven, seven more, ten, ten's a nice round number, sounds good and imposing. Um, again, someone said there, you know, if he gets a total of six, or he misses, you say he misses the rest of the season, come back at the start of next season, go away and think about what you've done over the summer, you know what I mean? Maybe, I don't know, babe, but then again, I am I am going to have a natural bias towards these things. I want to see Luis Suarez playing in Liverpool shirts as much as possible. I don't, I don't, I can't even bear to think of the, the potential detriment it might have to Liverpool's campaign next season. We had a, we had a slow start this season, the thought of facing the, the start of the next campaign without Suarez is a little bit a little bit worrying to say the very least. So let us know your thoughts on that as well. Do you think Liverpool are going to be able to cope in the absence of Suarez both this season and of course going into next season if they don't choose to appeal, which they haven't had until Friday to do. We'll we'll see what what comes of that. Anyway, uh, we'll obviously talk about the fallout from this on next week's show. Uh, but in the meantime, do check out youtube.com forward slash Ball Street. Do check out our other interview with Ian Wright as well on our channel. And um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, hopefully we'll see you with some more light-hearted and fun news uh, in the coming days and weeks. Ta-da.